Okay, so we're here today with Mary Brackney from Wildwood Farms. Mary, where is your farm located? We are located in Quilcene, right next to the Little Quilcene River off of 101. And the river is an important part of your land, isn't it? The river is a very important part of the land. The river um, waters most of our produce, so we're very thankful for the water that we have. Wow, and last year you're known as the uh, pumpkin tour folks in the fall. Um, Pete is known as the pumpkin man, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does he get a lot of slack from his kids for that picture? He'll never ever live it down. <laughs> <laughs> we try to do our very best for the local farmers. <laughs> That's good. Can you explain, we've got a lot of rhubarb, you're one of the big rhubarb growers it's some of the best rhubarb at the market can you tell us how Pete grows it uh, Pete grows the rhubarb next to our greenhouse in Quilcene the rhubarb does like rich soil so we do feed it a lot we clean out the chicken coop every fall and we do feed it with the old chicken manure and ch horse manure um, rhubarb is a very very heavy um, eater so you do have to feed your rhubarb if you're going to get the big red juicy stalks and do you put a lot of fertilizer on it in the spring or in the fall? Always on the fall. Always, Always in the, the fall. fall and early spring before it even comes back up to the surface of the ground. Wow. And then your big contribution, I was so glad last week when you had your jams here because I was just about out of the pear jam. So tell me about your jams. Um, the jams, I will make about 17 different flavors. I do make the jams off, off of the fruit that comes from the farm. Today we do have the strawberry jam strawberry rhubarb, blueberry, grape, Asian pear, raspberry. Um, flavors coming in will be the peach, the cherries, the stuff I have in the freezer for last year. So we'll be bringing more flavors out. That's great. Mary, what do you enjoy about the farmer's market as a farmer? What do I enjoy about the farmer's market is sharing all the good food from the farm to the people that enjoy it. Mary, you're great. Thanks, Pete. It's not the same without him, and thank you for being yes, here today. We miss Pete. Yeah, we do. Pete and Dill are out shrimping today. Today is their shrimp opening shrimp day, so good luck to the shrimpers. Good, and living well off the land in Jefferson Always County. Live off the land and sea in Jefferson County. That's we're very blessed. We are, yes. Yes. And we're blessed with you as a farmer. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And so we're here with 4-H News. Right